In this video, we will learn to find the integral of cube of x plus 3 times x plus 4 upon square root of x. Let i be equal to integral of cube of x plus 3 times x plus 4 upon square root of x with respect to x. We can rewrite the above fraction as sum of three fractions as i is equal to integral of cube of x upon square root of x plus 3 times x upon square root of x plus 4 upon square root of x with respect to x. We can rewrite the above statement as i is equal to integral of x raised to the power of 3 minus half plus 3 times x raised to the power of 1 minus half plus 4 times x raised to the power of minus half with respect to x. Further simplification of power gives us i is equal to integral of x raised to the power of 5 upon 2 plus 3 times x raised to the power of half plus 4 times x raised to the power of minus half with respect to x. Application of linearity property of integration gives us i is equal to integral of x raised to the power of 5 upon 2 with respect to x plus integral of 3 times x raised to the power of half with respect to x plus integral of 4 times x raised to the power of minus half with respect to x. After taking out the constant, we get i is equal to integral of x raised to the power of 5 upon 2 with respect to x plus t times integral of x raised to the power of half with respect to x plus 4 times integral of x raised to the power of minus half with respect to x. Antiderivative of x raised to the power of 5 upon 2 is x raised to the power of 5 upon 2 plus 1 upon 5 upon 2 plus 1. Antiderivative of x raised to the power of half is x raised to the power of half plus 1 upon half plus 1 and antiderivative of x raised to the power of minus half is x raised to the power of minus half plus 1 upon minus half plus 1. So i is equal to x raised to the power of 5 upon 2 plus 1 upon 5 upon 2 plus 1 plus 3 times x raised to the power of half plus 1 upon half plus 1 plus 4 times x raised to the power of minus half plus 1 upon minus half plus 1 plus capital C. Capital C is the arbitrary constant of indefinite integral. Never forget to add this constant. Further simplification gives us i is equal to x raised to the power of 7 upon 2 upon 7 upon 2 plus 3 times x raised to the power of 3 upon 2 upon 3 upon 2 plus 4 times x raised to the power of half upon half plus capital C. Further simplification gives us i is equal to 2 times x raised to the power of 7 upon 2 upon 7 plus 2 times x raised to the power of 3 upon 2 plus 8 times x raised to the power of half plus capital C. We can rewrite the above expression as i is equal to 2 times square root of x raised to the power of 7 upon 7 plus 2 times square root of x raised to the power of 3 plus 8 times square root of x plus capital C. Thank you for being with me. I hope you like this video. Please click the like button and subscribe button. Do not forget to press the notification bell so that you get the notifications of my new videos. Share the video and do write in the comments. I am eager to listen to your thoughts. If you have any question related to video, if you think I should make a video on any other topics in which you are interested, please write in the comments. Thank you.